we're in vacation this week. This is our vacation video, and we wanted to do one on something. And so we chose stress because so far this vacation has been awfully stressful. Thursday, we saw patients till 12 o'clock, and then we took off and we went to Minnesota. Michigan. Yeah, we went to... <laughs> we went to Michigan. We went to Michigan. So, and we when we drive, we like to book, man. And we like, we tear it up. One, coming coming back, we did five hours without stopping. I mean, we really tear it up. So we get up to Michigan, and uh, we get in. It's 1 o'clock in the morning. We're dead tired. We go in the hotel, and this guy, he's it was like his first day, and he was the only person there over the night shift. So he's checking us in by calling somebody. He's yeah, he's got to call someone up. And so it takes like 45 minutes to get his stress checked in stressed in they start saying stressed in so we we get up we get there and the outside of the place looks great everything is great we get our key card we go we flash it on the door i'm ready to just go to bed we go in and there's this stench in there this smell in there that's awful how would you describe it um i don't know it some was, i've it, never it smelled gross, some it, i've never smelled yeah. it was it smelled old like musky old. Uh, it's worse than that. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it was really, it was really bad. The smell wasn't as bad as the rest of the room, though. Yeah, it was really bad. And so we go in and we thought, oh, man, and maybe. he's like, oh, it's no big deal. We're gonna make the most of this. Yeah, trip. we're gonna make that. So that was my uh, yeah. stupid he, statement. So we started looking around. We yeah, <laughs> we started looking around the room and. No, we didn't. You were already done packing. Well, I was you tired. Okay with it. So was you tired. started looking and st there's bugs everywhere. First of all, there's food on the floor. And there's pota it's potato chips, and they've been crunched. Somebody stepped on them. And there's bugs. There's everywhere. Everywhere. Bugs on the, on the floor. On there the bed. In the sheets. There in the bathtub. How many? 15 in the bathtub alone. Yeah, 15 in the bathtub. And, and so, then there's a spider that's life-size. Up huge. in the corner, eating bugs. He could have eaten all week. There were so many. Yeah, so it, it was bad. And then, of course, we opened the drawers and... You can't do without mouse poop in the drawers. <laughs> so this was get bad, and I said, and and, and it, so we went to get the man. I went to I, I didn't go get the man. Out. I said I'm going to go get my money back. And the poor guy, like I said, his first time nobody's around, and I'm like, I I go over. I said, sir, you've been, I, I hate to do this. You've really been cool with us and stuff, but where when's the manager coming tomorrow? I got to get my money back. I'm not staying here. So he says, well, let's go. I'll put you in another room. No, he comes to the room and walks in. And he didn't think it was that bad. He said, yeah. you open the door because we're on the lake. Bugs are coming in. You know, he well, said no, that's normal. Bugs. But bugs don't bring in potato chips. We didn't mention the sheets that there was like, must have been blood on and they bleached them out or something or like that. Either ink or something. something. They bleached something out of the sheets. And so... So um, he says, let me show you the room next door. Another room. He like didn't, the he neighbor didn't, he, room is going to be any better. He didn't mention the smoke. No, the smell was and atrocious. that big spider could have walked right under the door. It could have, it could have ate one of those. Yeah. And so, I go in the next room. She doesn't go. She's standing in the I'm hall. I'm done. She's done. I've checked out. It smells too. I said, this ain't going to work, dude. I said, we're going to have to. We're going to do this. So we're like, what do we do? One thirty. Well, it's one later than that. Yeah. It's like two o'clock. And we're not going to give the name of the place because they did give us our money back. They did give us our money back. They were so professional we won't about mention, it. But if you're planning a trip to, Me a trip to Mexico, to <laughs> we're going to go to Mexico too. Me if you're going to Michigan, call us. We'll tell you where not to go. But we're not going to put it on here. Yeah, we're not going to do that. Yeah. So um, then it's like, where do we find a place? It's Labor Day weekend. So we found a Hampton Inn. It wasn't where we wanted to stay. But it wasn't where we wanted to stay, but we found it. Because we wanted to be on the and, lake. And after our experience, I said to the lady, I said, it's like 2.30 in the morning. I said, you know, I, I hate to be like this, but I want to see the room. And so I got Maureen, and we went up to the room. and uh, Super nice. You know, It was awesome. It was super healthy, nice. Very nice. We got yeah. some sleep. If it would have been across the street on the lake, we would have stayed all week. We would have stayed all week. Yeah. It was nice. But then we're, the next morning, where do we go? Because it's like... But also, we're laying there at 2 in the morning, and he gets a text from the place that we just left, hoping that our stay is going well. <laughs> hoping our stay is going well. So, yeah, and Are so, you enjoying the bugs? Yeah. How's the spider? <laughs> is he still in the corner? Have you bathed with the bugs yet? Stop. I mean, yeah. And then the next day we get another text from him. So he finally calls and he says, hey, dude, we've left. Yeah. We, no, that was a few days later. Oh, okay. That's when we're down here. So we're like sitting there and we're going to go, where, what do we do? We got to find a place. So 
So, you know, I'm thinking what, but I'm thinking what was their game plan? So at that hotel, so they smash the chips on the floor that draws in the bugs. Then the spider comes, he eats the bugs and they got bugs in the bathtub. Yeah, I guess in case spider comes out of the drain, he's got to eat some bugs. That's right. Like he's got to have something to eat. So, but the towel is folded really nice like a package. So we're sitting in, in, uh, we drive around and we're sitting there really nice. We find a really nice hotel. It doesn't have any vacancies because it's Labor Day weekend. And so but we're sitting would there. Monday. It was 12 o'clock noon. And I say, look, we can look all day for a place or we could head home. She says, let's head home. I said, you're really ready to do this because we were tired. We still only got about five hours sleep. And, and the night before we didn't get any sleep. So... Well, and that we could have got that place like Monday, so we had a, we would have had to find a place to stay for two days. But I mean, it it wasn't as pretty as this. I mean, yeah. this is so pretty here. So I'm like, no, so, let's go, let's so, drive home. So this, so we we take off, and so um, ten minutes into the trip, and we got one of our kids trying to find his places, you know, on the internet. He's looking for places, and nothing was happening. So we're ten minutes in the trip back home. I said, do you really want to do this? He said, let's do it. And because uh, we're good drivers. And so we're driving all my 10 minutes. I said, you really think we should do this? She goes, yeah, let's go. 30 minutes later, I said, do you really want to get on this and go home right now? She says, yeah. And we're going to go home and we're going to go to Florida coast, Alabama, Gulf Shores, uh, Orange Beach, or all Florida, the Navarre, on... Pensacola, Destin. Looking we didn't really places. care. But so we just took, kept driving and driving and we got home. I don't know what it was about 10. 10. We got home in a pretty good time with all the traffic that we ran into. And so, so we were going to leave Saturday morning to go to Orange Beach. To Orange that Beach. And plan. then we look at the weather and there's rain every day. So we call our kids up. Our kids own a place at the Lake of the Ozarks. Two of our boys do. And we call them up and uh, we said, you know, had a anybody great down plan there? In Mexico. She yeah, had a she whole had thing that. set up. With but it was rain too. But it looked like rain. So yeah. I'm like, so we the said, way things were going, with the bugs and everything, I thought we're gonna end up rain all week. So, so. that's how we got to Lake Lozarks. We yep. called the boys up, and neither one of them were gonna be down there. Nobody's gonna be down there. So we said, let's head to the lake. So Sunday morning, we just headed to the lake, which we're used to coming down to their place anyway. And that's how we got there. And that's how it started off so, so stressful. So now we'll tell you what we did to handle the stress. Well, there's a lot of things you do to handle <laughs> yeah. stress. There's a lot of supplements you can take. But first, so. I'm gonna do mine, because they're really quick. Relax Maloo another oh, that's time. A, that's a killer. Those are my go-to all the time. Yeah. I could bathe in Relax Maloo. I love it so much. Yeah, Not can, in Michigan with the bugs. But. Relax Maloo from yeah. Physica, when you're in a situation, yeah. it can give immediate relief. If we run out of Relax Maloo, there's women patients that will probably kill me. I mean, they love that stuff. That's for a quick thing, and it helps people to relax. It's like an instant relief for me. But and but then overall stress the adrenal glands. So the adrenal glands are the stress gland. They increase cortisol. Of course, when that's increased, if you see some of my videos, that's going to affect the hormonal system and reduce because all this comes from cholesterol. Reduce testosterone, estrogen, androstenone, DHEA, and so 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 this isn't a hormone video, but that's what it does. So. Um, we need adrenal support, but in, in chronic stress, we definitely need adrenal support. So there's adrenal desiccated, which is the gas for the adrenals. There's drenamin, which is all the nutrients from adrenals from food. These are from food. We need our nutrients to come from food. And then there's adrenal complex, mm -hmm. which is herbs, which herbs are also, can, I consider food. And uh, so uh, there's adrenal tonic, which mm -hmm. is a liquid which we give to postmenopausal women, it helps them. There's uh, adrenal tonic that we make ourselves. So if I wanna say, you know, I want this percent Sashazandra, but I want this percent licorice or whatever, we can custom make it for that particular patient. Um, and there's just great adrenal products that you can use. The adrenal gland needs vitamin C. It doesn't function without vitamin C. So. Uh, needs copper, tyrosinase, it needs copper. So those things help support the adrenal for chronic stress and for acute stress when just a situation like we had, Relax Malou is just great and and it does a, a great job. So that was our experience. Right. And um, 
we just wanted to put it out there because we wanted to do something. Because we, when you go through stress, you want it, you want it gone quickly. You want to be able to handle it. Yeah, and you, you can handle, handle it, it better if you support the adrenals. Right. I don't care what they're telling you. That works weird. We've been doing this a long time, and it works. Adrenal support works, especially getting something like adrenaline. It's the, all the nutrients the adrenals need. And so all from food. You know, you can't, you can't take chemicals and get well. Yeah, they'll give you a short-term buzz. They'll, they'll buzz the adrenals, actually. They'll not be beneficial for, to the adrenals when you take a synthetic chemical vitamin. But, you know, when you take food, food's your best medicine. Number one thing I said on another video I just made is your diet is your food, is what you eat, is what you put in your body. Secondary, the supplements you take have to be from food. Now, there's some exceptions to that in clinical practice that you need to do when you need to give something and balance it with the food short term. But uh, that's how we got here to the lake. And that was, we did, actually, we did 21 hours of driving in just, uh, oh gosh, about 32 hours. We got a little <laughs> sleep, 30 hours or something like that. I can't, I would have to add that up, but about 21 hours of driving in about 32 hours. And that in alone for me is stressful, but you know, anytime I'm driving with my wife, I enjoy it. So, um, so do the, do the right things for your health. And, uh, if you need adrenal support, if you're wondering about those things, just give us a call and, uh, we can help you out. And, uh, we've been through some much more stressful situations long-term, uh, than what we just told you just now. So until next time, Hey guys, make it a great day.